Ahoy there, pirates, Marky, or Kerfuffle Hustle here from Rare Thief. For those of you who have clicked on this video and are still wondering what a picture map is or how it fits into the overall voyage, we'll provide a quick little introduction. If you'd like to get straight into how to solve these picture maps, feel free to click on the next chapter in the video and jump ahead. All right, me hearties. Picture maps are one of the quest types you can encounter in the Legend of the Veil vale Voyage. To complete this voyage, you will need to collect three Veil Stones belonging to the magical Veil vale of the Ancients. To acquire all three stones, you must complete three quests, one for each stone. The voyage itself has an interchangeable modular design with four modules that will switch up the order and type of quests you must face. Moreover, for each quest type, the locations, puzzles, and solutions are as varied as you can imagine. Thus, every voyage is bound to play out differently. Of the four modules, there is only one that you must face in every Legend of the Veil vale voyage. The voyage will always end with the Haunted Fort module, in which you must claim victory in a naval combat-focused quest. However, the first two modules could be any of the remaining three. The Bell module, the Shipwreck Grave module, or the Suds module. The Bell module will task you with cutting down your foes in a land combat focused quest. The Shipwreck Graveyard module will send you into a watery exploration focused quest. The Suds module will test your island knowledge with a puzzle focused quest. Although there are four different modules, there are actually six possible quest types. That is because within the Suds module, there are three quest possibilities. A zoom map quest, a lying map quest, or a picture map quest. While we go over all of these in our voyage guide, we thought we'd make a supplementary video with a few more tips and tricks for any pirates who just so happen to get stuck on one quest type that has proven a bit more difficult for pirates than the others, the picture map quest. The picture map quest is a two page quest in which you must use visual clues from the islands to locate a dig site. On the left page of the quest, you'll have what we'll call an island page. There you will see sketches of prominent landmarks on an island in the Sea of Thieves. The landmarks all belong to the same island and are unique to, or at least well known on, that particular island. For example, if the left page has sketches of shark rock paintings and a shark statue, you'll know that the island you need to sail to is Shark Bait Cove. Alternatively, if your left page has sketches of a bird statue and an eagle looking rock formation, you'll know that you need to sail to Plunder Valley. Of course, if this is the first time you've realized that bird statues are common to Plunder Valley, don't worry. First, you're likely not the only pirate legend who hasn't memorized which symbols are common to which islands. Second, if you're not sure which island that left page is hinting at, we do have two resources to help you out. First, we have a picture map quest solutions guide. There you'll find images for every island page we've found thus far. Second, if we don't yet have an image that matches your island page, you could try typing key phrases for the images you see into your interactive maps search feature. For example, if you type in bird, you'll notice that most of the results are for Plunder Valley. So it'd be a good idea to click on the landmarks or rock paintings for Plunder Valley and see if you get a match. Sure enough, in this example, the very first landmark matches one of the images for Plunder Valley's island page. Off you sail. Perhaps most importantly, it will narrow your search significantly to remember, picture maps will always lead you to rather large islands, and we don't anticipate this changing in the future. After all, these quests would be far too easy on the smaller islands. Once you've sailed to the proper island, you'll want to turn your attention to the right page of your quest. There you'll find a sketch of a specific location on the island that is likely far less recognizable. 
The illustration will include a symbol drawn over the spot where you must dig to unearth an ancient chest with a veil stone inside. Of course, finding the specific spot where you need to dig on a larger island can be rather tricky, especially when the map on the right looks like it's no more than an image of a dirt path that could have come from anywhere on the island. However, there are often quite a few little clues sprinkled throughout. Keep an eye out for cooking spots, resource barrels, ammo crates, rock paintings, red plants, and any other noteworthy indicators to help you find the dig site. For example, for this picture map, the image on the right isn't particularly noteworthy at first glance. However, there were a few clues that, particularly when considered all together, helped us find our location. First, we knew we'd be looking for a decently large patch of sand. If you look at Lone Cove on your map table, or on your trusty interactive map if you're not on your ship, you'll see that looking for a large patch of sand already whittles the island down to just a few possible sandy locations. Second, you'll notice that between the two palm trees off in the distance, there is a red plant. So, as you scope out these sandy locations and consider the various groups of palm trees, you'll want to look for two between which you can see a similar red plant in the distance. Third, there's the very prominent resource barrel in the foreground. Of course, on their own, resource barrels aren't tremendously helpful hints, seeing as there are so many of them around the islands. However, once you've narrowed your search a bit, they can help you narrow it even further. Plus, once you've found the general area for your dig site, items like barrels can help you line up your angle with the picture map, which should make it easier to know exactly where to strike your shovel. Fourth, near the symbol, there is an object of some sort. If you look closely, you'll see that it is the front of a rowboat. This rowboat just so happens to be a landmark often used in Gold Hoarder Riddle Quests. Seeing as several broken down rowboats are Riddle Clue landmarks, you could check your map to see if any of the Riddle Clue landmarks found in Lone Cove's sandy areas show up in your image. However, even if the object is not necessarily a formal Riddle Clue landmark, Seeing as the bow of a robo is not as prevalent as red plants or resource barrels, it is still immensely helpful in narrowing down your search. After all, if you decided to traverse Lone Cove sandy beaches and simply dig at the bow of any broken down robo you found, even without any of the other clues, you'd likely make quick work of this quest. Similarly, if you see a particular rock painting, a cannon, a cooking spot, or an ammo crate, those can be incredibly helpful, especially, if we do say so ourselves, when used in conjunction with your interactive map. <laughs> Believe it or not, we actually don't mention all of the ways pirates can use the map in our videos because we get a little red in the cheeks. But for some of these picture maps, they just so happen to be really dead helpful. For example, this picture map for Old Faithful, in it you can see an ammo crate. Well, if you turn on your ammo crate markers, you'll notice that there are actually only three ammo crates currently charted on Old Faithful. Naturally, from time to time, new ammo crates are added to the islands without us knowing, However, it is a very rare occurrence. Thus, if you see an ammo crate on Old Faithful and you turn the ammo crate markers on, it's very likely that you've successfully narrowed your search of one of the largest islands in the Sea of Thieves to just three possible locations. The same is true for cooking spots. This is a picture map for the rather large and sprawling Sharkbait Cove. Luckily, Tucked into the background, you can see a cooking spot. Well, if you turn on your cooking spot markers, you'll see that there are only three cooking spots currently marked on Sharkbait Cove. Again, there's always a chance that someone has snuck a new cooking spot into the Sea of Thieves without our notice. However, it's more likely than not that you've 
just narrowed your search to three possible locations. Of course, not all picture maps give you landmarks, rock paintings, ammo crates, cooking spots, or cannons. Some just seem to be nondescript dirt, rocks, and grass. <laughs> As such, the picture map quests can be one of the more difficult quest types to solve. So, if you still need a bit of help determining what island your quest belongs to or where on the island you're supposed to dig, we do have that picture map quest solutions guide. It contains all of the picture map quests we have found so far, and we will continue to add to it until all have been found. And each of them are grouped by island. For each one, you'll find an image of the picture map quest, a written description of where you'll need to go, and an in-game image of the chest smack dab on the spot you'll need to dig, showing you what the quest sketch actually looks like when you're standing on the island. Plus, beneath each image, you'll see a link where you can see the dig site on your trusty interactive map giving you an even better idea of where exactly that spot is on the island. We'll link to this picture map quest solutions guide in the description below. While we're adding picture map solutions as quickly as we can, we have no idea how many possible picture maps there are. So if you find one we don't have yet, we would love to know about it. You can reach out to us on rarethief.com, Twitter, or here if you like. In particular, an in-game screenshot of not only your quest pages, but also the location you found the chest would surely be helpful to countless other pirates who are bound to stumble onto that very same picture map. All right, pirates, that about covers the ins, the outs, and all about the picture map quests you could encounter in the Legend of the Veil vale Voyage. If you have any questions, comments, or tough sketches that really tested your pirate legend knowledge, be sure to leave a comment below. See you on the sea.